It was real for us very quickly. We had a, you know, KIA Marine within five minutes. That city was 100% controlled by insurgency. We would find a head in the street, and there was no body. And, and we would find a body, and there was no head. I knew this was an Al-Qaeda thing. This was a foreign fighter thing. I knew this was a, whoever the hell wanted to fight us, and the whole world was coming to Fallujah. Early in the morning of November 9th, six battalions of American and Iraqi forces began pushing south to clear all insurgents from Fallujah. The only way you can clear a city is you have to search every house, you have to search every room, and you have to root out every insurgent. And they'd remain static in a building, knowing that they're probably not going to live. They, they may not even have a way back out, but they're so heavily fortified that you have to go in there and get them. Every time we would go into one of those buildings, you, you never know what to expect. It's different every single time. The only constant is, you know, the fear, the adrenaline, the unknown. We sustained hundreds, hundreds of casualties. I mean, one guy in a building could take out a fire team. The first objective for Regimental Combat Team 1 was to retake the Jolan District. Jolan District was a district where that was kind of Al-Qaeda's headquarters. And we knew that it was going to get hairy down there. There was still that sense of fear as we pulled into the city. I mean, it, it just grips you. It was pitch black that night. Pitch black, because they did the attack on no moon, no illumination at all. You could hear them from the mosque shouting to each other, let them come in, let them come in, you know, never run, never show them that you're afraid. It's tough fighting an enemy that's not afraid to die.